Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week three, or maybe it's not good morning. Howdy, everybody. Uh, obviously, filming this in the morning, so that's why I said good morning. Uh, this is week 12 here in Introduction to Criminal Justice. We are at the three-quarter way point, so a very important week. We've got an exam coming up this week, and then uh, a discussion on our um, video presentation. So we'll, we'll get to those in just a minute. So well, let's talk about the new material first. So we're looking at chapter 12 in the book and as always have your um, exam review out and looking at it as you watch the video and you read the chapter in the book so you can fill it in and you can submit that uh, first discussion a lot more easily if you have it completed. Uh, also, remember, you got to do your follow-up post to discussion number 11. Uh, I think about half the class has already completed all of those. We're getting much better with a couple of exceptions of doing uh, what we need to do on the discussion post. Um, and then we've got the quiz that you need to make at least a 100 or uh, technically just a 70, but uh, we got the exam coming up this week, so go ahead and take it till you make a 100 because some of those questions are going to be on the exam. And then we've got our third exam, as I just mentioned. If you did great on exam one and two, whatever you did to study for them, do that. If you didn't do so great on that first two exams, let's try to figure out what's going on. Uh, let's kind of work on having better notes, uh, making sure you spend a lot of time reading other people's notes uh, and incorporating them into yours so you can use them. Be sure to complete the entire exam before you start looking things up so you don't lose time. And then uh, finally, we've got the follow-up post for the, um, the class presentation, or excuse me, the original post for the class presentation uh, discussion. So let me scroll on down here to that. And, and for this, you are going to be looking at least three different students of, of, of video presentation. Uh, different ones and you're going to ask them at least uh, one question. I am encouraging you to look at the discussions and de determine the ones that have the fewest uh, before you select one. I don't want one student, you know, the first student up there to have 25 questions and other people to have none. You will have to ask at least one question of three different students, so that means you have to watch three different videos. And then next week, you will have to answer any questions that are asked of you. And each one of these posts is worth 25 points. So 25 points for, for the three discussions is 75 points. And then 25 points for answering the questions that are asked of you. So let me, and everybody will have some questions asked because if nobody else asks you questions, I'm going to throw a couple in there to make sure everybody has an opportunity to answer a, a question. So to determine which ones you want to answer, I'll go ahead and click on this and bring up the discussion post. And look, um, if we look at the insanity defense, uh, we will see that that one already has three posts on it, which means they've already had some questions. Uh, now up top, domestic violence, uh, public defenders, supermax prisons, uh, they all only have one post, and we were looking at right over here. A single post means that's the original. There's no follow-ups to it. So if we look at, uh, well, since the Sanity has actually two, uh, two follow-ups, we'll see what they are. Um, it may be questions and answers. Uh, and then, uh, you know, again, there's your video to watch, which might take a second to come up. Kind of look at a second of the video. This is actually Okay, so that, that's what the video is going to look like, and it looks like um, we've got um, two different people have asked questions. Jaden has asked uh, Andrew, what should happen if a person's convicted of, it, of insanity? Should they be void from all crime committed? What do you feel should be the proper handling of a person who has been ruled mentally insane? And then uh, Raquel uh, uh, asked, what were the reasons that the states of Kansas and Montana, Idaho, and Utah gave to abolish insanity. So those are, uh, you know, two good questions. Next week, Anjou has to answer both of these questions, or however many questions they have, to the best of your ability. You may get a question that you're asked that you don't know the answer to, 
obviously you don't have to answer it if you or, or you've got to reply to it if you don't know the answer your answer is I don't know the answer so that's where we go from here um, if you have not submitted your video presentation um, you're gonna fail the class you have got to get it submitted it is a requirement of the course that has been you know spelled out that you have to present your paper and we're doing the presentation by video um, if you're for some reason can't produce a video get with me we'll come to campus we'll shoot a video with you here on campus before an audience of captured police cadets or you know one of my classes and then we'll post that but everybody needs to get their video posted and I think there's about three or four people who have actually uh, completed their research paper but have not submitted their video presentation so uh, please do uh, I think I've got at least one student who said they had posted theirs it didn't go through I sent them an alternate means of posting uh, through a website uh, through OneDrive and uh, still waiting for them to post I did have two people that have reposted through OneDrive and those are being uploaded now it's taking a while to get them uploaded but they are being uploaded well that's all I've got for you this week I'm looking forward to see y'all's questions and responses to the video presentations and good luck on the exam this week